Okay, so I've got everything that I need. I've got a selection of crystals. I've got rose quartz, I've got smoky quartz, and I've got the fluorite. Um, I'm going to show you how to wrap just one and then I'll move on and show you how we can make um, a link of, you know, two or three crystals. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. I've got my 1.5 millimetre yarn and I'm just using natural. I have cut myself two one metre lengths and one two meter okay and i've got myself a little hoop that's just two centimeters wide and i'm just going to secure this as i always do with a pin onto my board okay so i'm going to take my two one meter cords and i'm going to feed them just through the wooden ring okay and what you need to do is just bring them together at the end so that we're working oh, with even lengths okay now the two meter cord we're going to again sort of like fold it in half make sure your ends meet and then go back till you've got that loop and this is going to go around the two cords that we've attached and it's going to be the working cords for the spiral knot or the half square knot so there is my center okay so bring those around there Okay, now you can secure it with pins if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to make the first half of a square knot. Okay, it will become easier once we've made the first one. Okay. And then just shuffle it up so that that's nice and snug against the, the ring. Okay. So, I'm going to carry on making the half square knot. And you can do this for pretty much as far down as you want to go. Okay. I'm getting caught on my pins there. All right. So, if you make a length of half square knots to create the spiral, I did about about two inches there just over okay so if you make a length of spiral nuts and i'll meet you when we're done Okay, so I have finished my length of the half square, the spiral knot, and I've now separated the cords into twos. Okay, because what we're going to do here is we're going to begin to make the like the net for the the crystal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quite close to the top because we want to secure it. I'm going to make an overhand knot so I'm going to just take the cord round so you've got almost like a circle and then I'm just going to feed these two cords through that circle but before I pull it tight I want to just make sure that I keep that nice pattern without it losing its shape Okay, so I'm just going to just pull and then when I'm happy that I can still see the cords in that nice sort of like cross pattern, then I'm going to pull them like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to repeat that with the next group of two. Okay, it's still quite close to the top. Okay, I'm trying to keep them so that they're the same distance down the cords as each other. And then I'm going to do this, this group as well. If you need to move your, your cords to work, then you might find it easier to move it round. Okay. So there we go. So I've got my first set of knots. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, from that first overhand knot we've made, I'm going to take a right hand cord and from the next one, I'm going to take the left hand cord. Okay, now I want to keep it fairly close to the previous knot because this is quite a small crystal I want to make sure it's nice and secure okay so where's my knot okay now before you start make sure you've got the right cords which is why I'm always just trying to place that underneath there okay and what I'm going to do is only about a centimeter down I'm going to make another overhand knot And then I'm going to go around and take the left hand cord from the knot and then the right hand cord from the next knot across and make another knot. It's a bit fiddly but it does help if you've got nails or you might want to use a needle or something to, to help pull the cords through. There we go. Okay, and again, before I get them to pull it too tight, I'm just going to keep the pattern. And then I've just got one more to make. So that's the left hand cord and then the right hand cord. again there and then pull it okay so what we can do now is just check that your crystals okay in there there we go that's going to be nice and secure okay just make sure you placed it where you want it to go and I'm going to make another alternate overhand knot so again take the left hand cord and the right hand cord and make another overhand knot and then repeat that another two times so do that and i'll meet you when we're done okay so i've done my alternating square knots and um, overhand knots now and what i'm going to do is secure the bottom now with this one I did a wrap knot which is absolutely fine you can do that or if you want something that matches the the knots you've just done you can simply do another overhand knot at the bottom okay so secure the bottom with knot of your choice and I'll meet you when we're done okay so I have secured my crystal now with that overhand knot at the bottom. 
Now here is where you can decide what you want to do. You can finish off and just trim and I've just tied knots in the hanging cords or you could cut it and brush it out and feather it or if you wanted as I said before if you wanted to add another crystal to make it a multiple hanger then all you need to do is just repeat making the spiral um, and then add another crystal and secure it the same so it's entirely up to you really I mean you could if you wanted to just add the crystal there without making another spiral the possibilities are endless so I hope you found that just a really simple way of wrapping a crystal for a hanger these are nice just hung in the window or in your porch or in your door entrance um, especially the fluorite the fluorites again another sort of like protection stone if you like um, said to bring calming security energy to your house so as you come in you know so i could talk about crystals all day but i'm not going to do that now if you like what you've seen please hit like subscribe leave a comment and do look out for our other tutorial where i'm going to do it it'll be a bit more complex with the actual wrapping okay thanks for watching bye